hey subbies welcome back to my channel but if this is your first time here welcome in today's video i'm going to do these yellow eyes for you guys and for that i'm using the oh honey nika k eyeshadow palette please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let's start by priming our eye with the la colors eyeshadow primer in the shade nude this is a very light product in terms of texture and color. I am blending this primer onto my lid using my crease brush from my Duke 6 brushes set. And now I will be applying the Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey by LA Girl as my second primer. Then I will be blending this product using the same brush. Do not forget to set your primers into place and for that you can simply use your face powder. Mine is from Maybelline Fit Me. Now onto our palette guys, please look at this. This is such a beautiful palette. Look at the beauty, look at the choice of the colors. So first I will grab this yellow matte shade as my first transition color. I am using an eyeshadow blender to blend this into my crease. But I felt like this brush was not giving any justice to my eyeshadow. So I decided to switch and go to another brush. Uh, this brush is not from the Duke makeup set, it's just a medium eyeshadow from Color Cosmetic and it was giving me the outcome I was looking for. So I just took my time to pack on this color into my crease. As my second transition shade, I decided to take this pastel yellow matte shade and I am blending it on top of my previous transition color and for that i'm using the eye blender i was using first and now i'm just taking my time to blend both colors together i'm so sorry guys i didn't know i had that much light in my face uh, i know you cannot see properly from here but just know that i am busy cutting my crease with a very flat eyeshadow and i'm using my pro concealer in the shame warm honey to cut my crease now i'm getting the middle shade of the palette i know you cannot also see properly from here but i'm just packing this color from my inner corner moving a little bit towards the center of my lid and for this i'm using a very small eyeshadow shade for the middle part of my lid i'm getting this darker yellow metallic shade and I am concentrating it on the middle part of my lid. I am going a bit above my shade from my inner corner and I am blending the transition between both shades. I am dusting off the dark yellow metallic shade from my brush because I'm planning to use it again and this time I'm grabbing this beautiful brown shimmery shade guys this palette has so many beautiful colors please get your hands on it so what i'm doing with this uh, metallic shade is i am putting it uh, in the outer corner of my eye and i am blending the transition between my middle lid shade and the outer corner shade Finally, I am getting this light brown matte sheet. I am placing it in my outer corner and I am blending it towards my crease. I will take time to pack this color because I want it to show. And I'm trying to cover my metallic brown shade with this color. And for this, I am using an angled eyeshadow blender from Color Cosmetic. To line my eye, I'm using the Itex Dazzler Eyeliner. This is a black strong eyeliner. It's very beautiful. Guys, in my description box, I named all the products I use in this tutorial. Please check it out. For my mascara, I'm using the Big Eyes Mascara by Hilary Roda. This mascara can give you definition and boldness. I am applying a little bit of concealer on the lower part of my eye then I will blend it with my crease brush before I apply my lower eyeshadow color. And now I am applying some black gel eyeliner by Swiss Beauty on my lower waterline.
I am using this light brown matte shade for my lower eye color and I am using a flat small eyeshadow shader to apply and to blend this color then I'll go ahead and apply some mascara on my lower lashes guys do not forget to do this you will not regret to highlight my face, I will use the Swiss Beauty Baked Blusher and Highlighter. This is the palette 01 and I will get this dark, bronzy, beautiful color. And I will use this large fan brush to highlight myself. That means my cheekbone, my forehead, my nose and my chin. I have decided to go with some ombre nude lips and for that I'm using the dark chocolate lip liner by Swiss Beauty to line and to contour my lips and for the middle part of my mouth I'm using the Swiss Beauty soft matte lip cream in the shade 22 very nude this is a very beautiful nude lip cream very soft on the lips and you will love the outcome To set my entire face, I'm using the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Makeup Fixer or Makeup Setting Spray. And that was it for today's tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you learned something and I hope you love this look. Please get your hands on this palette. You will not regret it. It's very affordable. It's very beautiful. I love you guys so much. Never forget about that. And I will see you again in my next tutorial.